Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to this channel. As a healthcare professional, it's very important that we should know about emergency drugs. So, in this video, we will know about emergency drugs, their uses or indications, their dose, and other things. So, we will see the end of the video. Emergency drugs are the medications that we use to treat acute medical conditions or situations. जिन्हें एमिजिएट इंटरवेंशन की जरूरत होती है टू स्टेबलाइज पेशेंट्स कंडीशन या जो पेशेंट की कंडीशन है वो फर्दर खराब ना हो फर्स्ट लेट अस सी द लिस्ट ऑफ एमरजेंसी ड्रग्स व्हिच इंक्लूड एड्रेनलिन एट्रोपिन एमाइडोरोन एडिनोसिन एट्राक्यूरियम कैल्शियम ग्लूकोनेट डोपामाइन डोविटामिन डेजॉक्सिन फ्रोसिमाइड फ्लूवाजिनिल लिडोकैन डेपिटालॉल मेटाप्रोलॉल बेडाजोलम मैग्नीशियम सल्फेट नॉर एड्रेनलिन नाइट्रोगलसिन एलोब्जोन फेनिटॉइन पोटेशियम क्लोराइड सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट ट्रामाडोल विटामिन के नाउ लेट अस सी देम वन बाय वन फर्स्ट इज एड्रेनलिन एड्रेनलिन को हम इपिनेफ्रिन भी बोलते हैं इट इज अ सिंपैथोमिमेटिक एजेंट एंड केटेकोल एमाइन इट एक्ट्स ऑन अल्फा एंड बीटा एड्रेनर्जिक रिसेप्टर्स लीडिंग टू द इंक्रीज इन हार्ट रेट ब्रोंकोडायलेशन एंड वेजोकंस्ट्रक्शन Thus, it is indicated in cardiac arrest, anaphylaxis, severe asthma, severe bradycardia, and is contraindicated in hypersensitivity, closed angle glaucoma, severe hypertension. Dosage varies depending on the indication and route of administration. It is commonly administered as 0.3 to 0.5 milligrams IM for anaphylaxis and 1 milligram IV for cardiac arrest. Next is atropine. Atropine is an anticholinergic agent, blocks acetylcholine receptors, leading to increased heart rate, bronchodilation, and decreased secretions. It is indicated in bradycardia, organophosphate poisoning, that is OP poisoning, and medication for anesthesia. It is contraindicated in glaucoma, obstructive disease of GI tract, tachycardia. In bradycardia, the dosage is 0.5 to 1 milligrams in intravenous, every 3 to 5 minutes as needed, up to a maximum of 3 milligrams. In organophosphate poisoning, higher doses may be required. Next is the amiodarone, which is an anti-arrhythmic agent. It blocks potassium channels, prolonging the action potential duration and refractive period. Thus stabilizing the cardiac cell membranes. It is indicated in ventricular arrhythmias, atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, pulseless ventricular tachycardia. It is contraindicated in bradycardia, severe sinus node dysfunction, second or third degree heart block. The loading dose typically is 150 to 300 milligrams IV over 10 to 20 minutes, followed by a maintenance infusion of 1 milligram per minute for 6 hours then 0.5 mg per minute uh, for 18 hours. Next is the adenosine. Adenosine is an antiarrhythmic agent. It slows conduction through the AV node, interrupting the re-entry pathways in supraventricular tachycardias. Thus, it is indicated in supraventricular tachycardias and is contraindicated in asthma, second or third degree heart block, sick sinus syndrome. Rapid IV bolus starting at 6 mg is given, followed by 12 mg if necessary, plus with the saline after each dose. Next is the atracurium, which is a non depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agent. It competitively blocks acetylcholine receptors at the neuromuscular junction, leading to the muscle relaxation and paralysis. It facilitates endotracheal intubation, cicatorial muscle relaxation during surgery, or mechanical ventilation. It is contraindicated in hypersensitivity to the drug, personal or family history of malignant hyperthermia. Dosage varies based on the patient weight and clinical scenario, typically administered as a bolus followed by a continuous infusion. Next is the calcium gluconate, which is an electrolyte supplement. It provides calcium ions essential for neuromuscular function, cardiac contraction and coagulation. It is indicated in hypocalcemia that is low calcium levels and hyperkalemia that is high potassium levels, calcium channel blocker overdose. It is contraindicated in hypercalcemia and ventricular fibrillation. Dosage varies based on the severity of the condition and patient's calcium levels, typically administered as an IV bolus. Next is the dopamine. Dopamine is a sympathomimetic agent. 
It acts on dopaminergic and adrenergic receptors, causing dose-dependent effects, including vasodilation, increased cardiac output, and renal perfusion. It is indicated in cardiogenic shock, septic shock, symptomatic bradycardia, and is contraindicated in fuel chromocytoma ventricular fibrillation. Infusion rates vary based on the desired effect. Low doses primarily stimulate dopaminergic receptors, moderate doses stimulate beta adrenergic receptors, and high doses stimulate alpha adrenergic receptors. Next is the dopamine, which is also a sympathomimetic agent. It is a selective beta first adrenergic receptor agonist, leading to increase in myocardial contractility and cardiac output. Thus, it is indicated in acute heart failure, cardiogenic shock, citrus testing. It is contraindicated in hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, ventricular tachycardia, and typically administered as a continuous IV infusion at 2 to 20 micrograms per kg per minute. Next is the digoxin, which is a cardiac glycoside. It inhibits sodium potassium ADPase, leading to increased intracellular calcium levels and enhanced myocardial contractility. It is indicated in heart failure, atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, and it is contraindicated in ventricular fibrillation, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Loading dose is given, followed by a maintenance doses. Loading dose is typically 0.25 to 0.5 mg IV or per oral, followed by a maintenance dose based on the patient's renal function and clinical response. Next is the frosimide which is a loop diuretic. It inhibits sodium and chloride reabsorption in the ascending loop of heli, leading to increased urine output and reduction in extracellular fluid volume. Thus, it is indicated in edema associated with heart failure, renal impairment, and hypertension. It is contraindicated in anuria, electrolyte depletion, hypersensitivity to the sulfonamides. Dosage varies based on the patient's renal function and clinical condition. Typically administered orally or IV at doses ranging from 20 to 160 mg per day. Next is the flumazenil, which is a benzodiazepine antagonist. It competitively inhibits the activity of benzodiazepines at the GABA receptors, reversing the sedative and hypnotic effects. Thus, it is indicated in benzodiazepine overdose reversal of benzodiazepine induced sedation during anesthesia. It is contraindicated in tricyclic antidepressant overdose seizure-prone patients chronic benzodiazepine users. The initial dose is 0.2 mg IV over 15 seconds. Repeat at 1 minute or interval if needed up to a maximum of 1 mg. Next is the lidocaine which is an antiarrhythmic agent and local anesthetic. The mechanism of action includes that it blocks sodium channels, stabilizing cardiac cell membranes, and reducing the ectopic pacemaker activity. Thus, it is indicated in ventricular arrhythmias, local anesthesia, procedural pain management, and is contraindicated in hypersensitivity to MI type local anesthetics, hot block without pacemaker. Dosage varies depending on the indication and route of administration. For ventricular arrhythmias, loading dose typically is. 1 to 1.5 mg per kg IV bolus followed by a maintenance infusion. Next is the labetalol which is a beta blocker with alpha first blocking activity. It blocks beta adrenergic and alpha first adrenergic receptors leading to decreased heart rate and vasodilation. It is indicated in hypertension especially in hypertensive emergencies. It is contraindicated in bradycardia heart block greater than first degree and cardiogenic shock and asthma. Usually initiated at 100 mg IV or orally, can be titrated as needed. Next is the metoprolol which is a beta blocker. It blocks beta first adrenergic receptors leading to decreased heart rate and blood pressure. It is indicated in hypertension, angina, heart failure, myocardial infarction and is contraindicated in bradycardia or block greater than first degree cardiogenic shock and asthma. Typically initiated at 25 to 100 mg orally or twice daily can be titrated as needed. Next is the metazolum which is a benzodiazepine derivative and is a short acting. It enhances the effect of GABA neurotransmitters leading to sedative and anxiolytic and 
amnestic effectus. It is indicated in sedation, anxiolysis, induction of anesthesia, procedural station, and is contraindicated in acute narrow ang- angle glaucoma, respiratory depression, acute alcohol intoxication. Dosage varies based on the indication and patient's age, typically administered at 1 to 2 mg IV for sedation. Next is the magnesium sulfate, which is an electrolyte supplement and smooth muscle relaxant and antiarrhythmic. It blocks neuromuscular transmission, reduces uh, acetylcholine release, and acts as a calcium antagonist. It is indicated in eclampsia, preeclampsia, torso D points, hypomagnesemia, that is low magnesium levels, and is contraindicated in heart block, myasthenia gravis, renal failure. Loading dose of 4 to 6 mg IV is given over 15 to 20 minutes for eclampsia and maintenance doses may vary. Next is the noradrenaline or norepinephrine which is a sympathomimetic agent and or vasopressor. It acts on the alpha first and beta first adrenergic receptors causing vasoconstriction and increased cardiac output. It is indicated in septic shock hypotension that is low blood pressure. It is contraindicated in hypovolemia that is low blood volume without adequate fluid replacement and mesenteric or peripheral vascular thrombosis and in hypoxia. It is typically administered as a continuous infusion starting at 0.1 to 0.5 micrograms per kg per minute. Next is the nitroglycerin which is a nitrate vasodilator. It relaxes vascular smooth muscles, predominantly venous, leading to venous pooling and decreased preload. It is indicated in angina pectoris, acute coronary syndrome, congestive heart failure, hypertension, and is contraindicated in hypotension, severe anemia, increased intracranial pressure, and use of phosphodiesterase inhibitors. Dosage is uh, Sublingual tablet typically administered as 0.3 to 0.6 mg every 5 minutes of our angina. Next is the naloxone, which is an opioid antagonist. It competitively inhibits opioid receptors, reversing the effect of opioid overdose. It is indicated in opioid overdose respiratory depression due to opioids and is contraindicated in hypersensitivity to naloxone cases. The dosage is intranasal. Doses usually range from 2 to 4 mg every 2 to 3 minutes until the desired response is achieved, and other doses may vary. Next is the phenytoin, which is an anticonvulsant and hydantoin derivative. It stabilizes neuronal membranes by inhibiting voltage sensitive sodium channels. It is indicated in seizures, tonic clonic complex partial, prevention of seizures following neurosurgery. It is contraindicated in sinus bradycardia, heart block, hepatic impairment. Loading dose of 15 to 20 mg per kg IV is given, followed by maintenance doses of 4 to 8 mg per kg per day, divided every 8 to 12 hours. Next is the potassium chloride, which is an electrolyte supplement. It replenishes potassium in case of hypokalemia that is a uh, low potassium level essential for cellular function including neuromuscular transmission and cardiac rhythm. It is indicated in hypokalemia that is low potassium level and is contraindicated in hyperkalemia, severe renal impairment, untreated Addison's disease. It is typically given 20 to 100 milli equivalents per day divided into 2 to 5 doses. Next is the sodium bicarbonate, which is an alkalizing agent. It increases blood pH by buffering excess hydrogen ions. It is indicated in metabolic acidosis, severe diarrhea, tricyclic antidepressant overdose, and is contraindicated in metabolic alkalosis, hypocalcemia, severe heart failure. Dosage varies based on the indication and severity. It is typically administered as 1 to 2 milli equivalents per kg IV bolus. Next is the tramadol, which is an opioid analgesic and centrally acting. It binds to mu opioid receptors and inhibits the reuptake of serotonin and norepinephrine. 
it is indicated in moderate to moderately severe pain and is contraindicated in respiratory depression paralytic ileus concurrent use of monoamine oxidase inhibitors the initial dose of 50 to 100 mg may be given iv or orally as needed for pain next is the vitamin k which is a fat soluble vitamin the mechanism of action includes that it it is required for the synthesis of clotting factors in the liver and is thus indicated in reversal of vitamin k antagonist overdose and it is given prophylaxis of hemorrhagic disease in newborns it is contraindicated in hypersensitivity to vitamin k doses varies based on the indication and severity typically administered as 5 to 10 mg iv or parenterally that's iv